Slip Jab. This is Jonathan Ham from SlipJab.com, and I'm here with the 1984 Olympic gold medalist, former cruiserweight champion, Henry Tillman. How you doing today, Henry? I'm cool, Ham. How you doing, man? Congratulations on your uh, SlipJab.com yeah. radio station. Thank you very much. You know, you are the man. Let's, okay, first of all, let me tell you guys something, okay? These hands right here, okay, is responsible for beating Mike Tyson twice, okay? Not once, but twice. We're here with a living legend, all right? How did it feel to be the guy who beat Mike Tyson twice? Nobody has ever done that. Well, you know, uh, during the time, we was all just just uh, looking and willing to fight the best that was in our weight class. And so that's all it was at the time. We both was uh, trying to get a spot on the 84 Olympic team, and we had to meet each other a couple of times to get to that position, and I won. Yeah. You know, we met again the pros, he won. So yeah. that's the name of this game. You win some, you lose some. Well, you know, of course you went on to do big and better things. You was a... Olympic gold medal champion in 1984. How did it feel to be standing on that podium in front of all those people? Well, that's one of them kind of feelings. I don't know if you ever had an exhilarating feeling from doing something. You can't really use those words to really describe it. It was like that. Your feet weren't even on the ground. And what made it special for me, I was in my own backyard in uh, California, L.A. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm from. So my school teachers, the ones that thought I'd make it, the ones that didn't think I'd make it, was able to see me make it. So, And even people that had doubt in me in my whole life period, because, you know, I had a checkerboard background I was coming up in and out of trouble jail camp and all that so mm -hmm. and uh, boxing gave me a, a purpose mm -hmm. and that's when I won the gold medal it let me prove to people that you can do whatever you want to do if you put your mind to it yeah you don't have to be a statistic unless you want to yeah well, you know, one thing I can say, um, you have been inspiring a lot of people. You know, Henry Tillman does a lot of work throughout the community. You know, he has so many different programs. You know, one thing about it, I've definitely seen you give back. You know, um, another question I want to ask, you were real close with um, former heavyweight champion um, Evander Holyfield. How is you guys' relationship still going today? You know, what's going on with you guys? Well, you know, we, uh, when you have a friend, you don't have to see him every day or even talk to him every day for them to be a friend. You just know they're there. You know, you don't see them. Their presence is always there. And that's the way me and Holyfield is. Like, this last Saturday, he just popped up, came here. We barbecued and hung out, him and his son, Elijah. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't seen him for months because he'd been in and out of uh, the country uh, traveling with that No Mouth uh, Goes Unfed. Yeah. With that uh, non-profit group he's working with. And, uh, you know, we fought each other and everything for a world title. In fact, we was uh, we made history with our fight because we were the last scheduled 15-round bout. We were the first two Olympic teammates to fight each other for a world title. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we both just asked each other, will it affect our friendship? We both said no. So we said, okay, let's go for it. Because, I mean, we fought in February, and uh, he was in my wedding in July. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of my groomers. So yeah. they were like, I thought you guys hated each other. I said, nah. Yeah. I just hate I lost. Yeah. <laughs> But it was a good fight, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, he's, he's, my, he's my man. He's my buddy, yeah. you know. Yeah. Who else was on that uh, Olympic team with you? Name some other guys who was, you know, who shared that experience with you. Uh, Sweet Pea, Pernell Whitaker, Paul Gonzalez, uh, Melody Taylor, Evander, uh, uh, Frank Tate, uh, 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 Steve McCoy, rest in peace, uh, Tyrell Biggs, Mark Breeland, uh, Virgil Hill, uh, Way was uh, Robert Shannon, and that was it, Steve McCoy, yeah, Steve McCoy, I already said him, and myself. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, those are some very legendary names. Um, out of all those guys, who all won the gold medal? Uh, from the super heavyweight down to me, won the gold, and Vanna got the bronze, you know what happened with him. He got disqualified, I thought it was wrong. And Virgil Hill got the silver middleweight. Frank Tate gold, Mark Reeling gold, Jay Page gold, uh, Sweet Pea gold. 125 was Mildred Gold. Steve McCoy, one, uh, 112 was Gold. Robert Shannon, he didn't he did medal. And then Paul Gazzard is uh, 106 Gold. So we got nine Gold, one Silver, one Bronze. We got 11 medals out of 12. Okay. And nine of them Gold. Okay. Well, um, you know, what else you doing as far as the community? You know, let everybody know. I know you just opened up your gym, and it's been getting a lot of business so far. You know, you right now you're training, you know, the number eight, number eight ranked heavyweight in the world right now, Charles Martin. Um, what's some other things you you, get, you guys are doing? You know, what Henry well, Tillman is doing, you know, around the community. Well, it's not just me myself. You know, it's along uh, with Coach Jamal Abdullah. We've been together doing this together as well. 
and also with uh, Hesman Two Gun Lewis. He's been helping working out with me, and also uh, John uh, Two Belts. He been working out with me, but you know he has a regular job. So, and during the winter he only come in the evening, but he does a fantastic job with the kids. And we started a, a kid program we do in the evening. And uh, we also have a senior citizen program. We do a senior citizen and a women's program in the morning from 8 to 9 mm -hmm. called the Early Bird. Okay. And uh, we do classes early in the morning. And, uh, you know, I still speak for the Uni uh, LA Unified School District through the uh, Olympic Committee, Southern California Olympic Committee. Of course, I had you and Charles coming along with me on a couple of those ventures. Because mm -hmm. I want you guys to see that it's not about just taking, taking, taking. You have to give back. Mm -hmm. You have to open your hand and receive something. Keep your, your fist closed around a little bit you have. That's all you have. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I hope that rubbed off on you and Charles, and I, and I look for big things out of both of you guys on down in your careers. And I want to, I feel good that I play a small, intricate part in the makeup of you guys, you know. That's my little part in you guys, you know. And uh, those are the things you just don't, can't, you can't buy those things. Those things somebody have to give you and give them to you from their heart, yeah. you know. You can't buy them, they're not for sale. You can't go window shopping to get them or none of that. And some somebody have to give you from their heart for you to truly get it and do something with it. Yeah. No, I totally agree with you because you know um, when you met me, you know, um, of course you groomed me into a USA national champion. You know, ranked number one in the USA. You know, and and once I started getting all those accolades, you was telling me, okay, you know, you're doing your thing now. You have to give back to the community. So you had us going to talk to all different type of high schools and talking to juvenile kids and middle schools and. You know, you and that, even now today, I'm, I do a lot of mentoring. You know what I'm saying? And all that's because of you, because of you taught me how to give back, and I really appreciate it. You know, but um, what else we got to expect with Henry Tillman in the future? You know, what else we got coming up? What else we, um, the, your fans got to look for? Well, man, a friend of mine, uh, excuse me, Bernie Venezuela, we got, we just got our promoter license. We're having our first pro show in September in uh, Ontario, California, at the Crossroads Boxing Gym. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, not at, not there, but the promotion is, is going through there and here. But we have a big auditorium down there. We're gonna do our first big uh, bout in September, September second. Uh -huh. And then we have a golf tournament that we're doing also in the same regards of the names. Uh -huh. And uh, we're just trying to make things happen, trying to provide jobs for different people, and just trying to be a a plus to the community and to, to the people, and uh, not just be a weight, you know, and trying to carry our weight and make things happen for people like you. Charles and the rest of these guys, the the, 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 um, the amateurs as well. You know, we got a big schedule set for them for the rest of this year, all the way through the summer and it's, and it's the beginning of the uh, winter. Yeah, got big big programs coming up. Well, you know, you went through it. You went through all of the different t uh, tournaments and won them. Uh -huh. And so, you know, we got some one of your belts on the wall over there now. So it's a couple of your medals up there. Yeah. And I tell the kids all the time, if you don't, don't nobody get those away. Yep, you have to right actually go and take those. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody out there handing out medals and belts. Yep, got it <laughs> You got to go there and take it. Yeah. Um, are you still involved in, um, I know you and uh, you and Evander Holyfield teamed up and came up with the real deal, barbecue sauce. Are you still involved with that? Are they, are they, can we still go get that in stores? Oh, yes. We're in about 4,500 stores. We're in the Albertsons, Food for Less, uh, Midwest, Bilo's, and Publix. And down south, we're in, uh, what's that? This is, I can't even think of the name of that store because I'm not used to the stores down there. But it's just like yeah. a chain here, like Ralph's, but it's down there, down south in North Carolina, South Carolina. Uh -huh. But uh, it's just doing really well, and uh, we're about to do another kickoff coming up soon. Yeah, like I say, Vander was here this uh, past weekend, and we were uh, strategizing on some uh, different commercial things and just social media things that me and you were talking about the other day. That's why you was telling me that. It was funny you were saying it, because me and Evander were just talking about that Saturday, yeah. about taking advantage of the social media, you know, how many people you can reach at one time. Mm -hmm. You know, and you do that multiple times, you've reached millions of people with just a stroke of a key on a, on a uh, keyboard. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, it's really to your advantage if you're in business. Yeah. Um, could you let the people know your address out here at Henry, Henry Tillman's Championship Boxing Gym? Yeah, we're in the city of uh, Carson, Carson, California. The address is 21625 South Avalon Boulevard on the corner of Avalon and uh, Carson Street behind the Chevron gas station. It's a little strip mall, and we're in the Cata Corner. Okay. Coach, it was a pleasure interview you. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. You've done to uh, the whole America. You gave us a gold medal. You gave us great fights. And I'm very appreciative of doing this interview with you. All right? Thanks a lot. Well, thank you too, Big Ham. I appreciate, you know, you let me in your life and let me, you know, go with you on your journey as a quest for your uh, future and everything. Let me be a part of that, and I appreciate that. Yeah. You know. Thanks a lot. 
Slip jab.